Hey guys, thanks for clicking this video. I do appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, remember to click the subscribe button, click that bell icon, and if you really want to support me, then consider being a Luxe channel supporter for $4.99 a month. You'll get loyalty badges next to your name, you'll get custom emojis, you'll get rough cuts and bloopers, you'll get discounted merchandise, connect with you on social media, and also you get your name mentioned at the start of each video, like this. Okay, so we are now fully loaded. I just thought I'd show you the load because I haven't actually done that yet. Here we are, plant pots. It turns out it's actually uh, eight and six rather than eight and eight. So it's actually 14 pallets instead of 16 pallets. We got six pallets for the second uh, store, which is in Hale. And we've got eight pallets for the first store, which is in Paynton. So we've got four this side, four the other side for the first store, three this side, three on the other side for the second store. Um, Paynton is a good four and a half hours away by a car. I'd say six hours 45 in a truck. We'll find out when we get in. I put it in the sat nav, I've not actually put it in yet. But in terms of load security, it's so light, we're just going to use internal straps on the sides. And then on the ass end, what we've done is just crisscrossed it uh, on the back to stop it from coming backwards. So, uh, yeah, 14 pallets, that's all we got. Two tons in total, less than, I think it's actually 1.6. Uh, five 1650 kilograms, so yeah, all in all, it's a very light load. We're gonna, we're gonna hardly feel it going down to Cornwall, but yeah, so we're just gonna do the curtain up, then we're gonna plan a route, and then we'll go. Uh, I'll see you in the truck. Ah, right, I've uh, I've put the postcode in to where we need to go. Just need to do a printout so I know how much driving time we've got left. So we're going to Paynton first to begin with, like I said, and then we're going to Hale. Um, Hale is 333 miles away. It's going to take me seven hours to get there. Um, Paynton, which is where we're going first, is 254 miles away. Five and a half hours driving from here. Five and a half hours. Now, obviously, we don't have five and a half hours driving time left. How much do we have left? Let's have a look. Right, we've done 605, so 55 will give us up to 7, 8, 9. So we've got 2 hours and 55 minutes on a 9, 3 hours 55 on a 10. Let me just double check that. 55 will be 7, 8, 9, 255, yeah. Yeah, so we've got 2 hours 55 minutes or 3 hours 55 minutes. We'll probably, probably do a 3 hours 55 if we can. I'm not sure where we're actually going to stop yet but we can go as far as we can in three hours 55 that's the plan uh and we can also what time do we start this morning card was in at five o'clock so we can work until eight o'clock tonight so we're gonna we're just basically gonna go as far as we can uh we've got to go on the m25 across uh dartford tunnel and uh go via the A303 I expect. Da, 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 da. Yeah, M3 down to the 303, yeah, past Andover. Might stop at Earthline in, in Froxton. <laughs> I know I know I could stop there. We'll uh we'll find out when we get a little bit closer. How about that? Right, for starters we've got to do a uh, quite a tight turn around to the right. Just make sure I've definitely got everything. Yeah, I do. Excellent. Right, we are good to go. We literally now just got to drive as far as we can in four hours. Yeah, just under four hours. It's, uh, I'm probably going to stop somewhere as well to get something on the way, like food and drink. Could do with going to the toilet, to be honest with you. I often get asked that, how do you go to the toilet during, during the night? You don't. <laughs> Uh, I mean, you can take a wee bottle with you and have a wee in that, but if you need a number two, which uh, I'll be honest, I need, then you just stop somewhere on the way. Services. That's what you do. You know, sorry if that 
it's disgusting, but that's what you do. Uh, you don't go during the night. <laughs> you can't. Uh, well, I mean, people, if you really have to, then obviously you have to, but I'm not an animal. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll go on the way to somewhere, or if I need to go in the morning, then uh, in the morning I'll go somewhere. But yeah. Anyway, <laughs> let's talk of that. <laughs> let's get going. Um, see you in a bit. I've brought my drone with me, so I might get some drone footage. Possibly, who knows. Right, see you in a bit. Right, you join me three hours later. Is that a lay-by? No. <laughs> three hours later. Uh, we're looking for a lay-by now. Um, but I want a quiet one because I want to get my drone out. <laughs> so I don't want to be too busy because I was going to be interfering with um, other people's rest. That one's filled up. Yeah, that one's filled up. So yeah, we are now just looking for a lay-by. Uh, we're on three hours and five minutes driving. We've got 50 minutes of drive time left. Um, and we're about, we're about two hours away, I think. Yeah, we're just over two hours away from our destination. So we're not going to get all the way there, obviously. But we're going to be, we're going to be pretty close from, um, from it. It should be about a two hour drive in the morning, hopefully. I plan on parking up very soon. Uh, I don't want to go too far just in case I can't find somewhere to park. So I am now, like I said, actively looking out for lay-bys. There's one other one in two miles' time. There's loads of lay-bys down the 303. So um, as soon as we find one that's suitable, we're going it. I don't want a narrow one. Um, I want a wide one, otherwise you'd be rocked to sleep all night. So uh, yeah, for the next uh, sort of, well, the, the remaining 50 minutes, I'm gonna be basically uh, going in the first lay-by that I uh, can see and is suitable. Looking for a wide one, nice and quiet. That's all we need. <laughs> Chicklade, not to be confused with where we are pretty much based, near Quicklade, where I normally work out of as well, Quicklade. Or well, have in the past, anyway. Can't park there, it's too close to houses. If I take my drone off, it's uh, too close to houses. Can't do that. Whoa. So, uh, yeah, I know there's a, there's a decent lay-by in about three miles' time as well quite a wide one um, I'm sure that would be very busy so probably won't be able to do that one let's we'll see and there's, there is a very very nice lay by on a bend with beautiful scenery and I'd love to park there if I can but um, we'll have to see so yes we're just going to try and find somewhere to park now okay we're going to park here I think this is a good enough place Happy days. Right, we're parked up. Found a lay-by, nice and big. We're right on the end so no one can get in front of us. <laughs> and uh, absolutely beautiful scenery around us. I've got to get the drone up here because we're well in the open. Uh, yeah, definitely going to get the drone up here. Beautiful. Right, we need to do some paperwork before we, uh... I think someone's recognised me, maybe. <laughs> or just wants to tell me off. <laughs> right, we're in, uh, we're in a lay-by, so we're good to go. We've just got to do some paperwork and then we can clock off, do our end-of-day checks, make sure everything's okay. Happy days. Yeah, I've got these vehicles going past me and I'm not feeling any uh, movement, so... It's all good. Right, let's do some paperwork and then we'll get the drone up.
And good morning. Welcome back. We are back in the truck, obviously. Uh, well, we never left the truck. <laughs> um, and we, uh, yeah, we're down. We're down south in Cornwall. We're pretty much just around the corner from where we need to be now. Uh, in Paynton. Beautiful, beautiful drive on the way down. Uh, I've taken some time lapse footage, so hopefully that looks good. We uh, we're staying in the right hand side lane because we need to make a right hand turn. Uh, not this one, the next one. So uh, we're just going to stay in this uh, in this lane for now. We've got eight pallets to come off here. They don't open up uh, until half past seven. It is currently bang on half past seven. So hopefully we can get straight in. Uh, having a look on Google Maps, it doesn't look like they've got the biggest of yards. I'm hoping I can go in and spin around at the bottom if it's empty and then go and see someone. But if there's another truck in there, I don't know what we're going to do. We'll find out. But yeah, it's very, very sunny day today. Right, that big old building now, I believe, is the one we're going to. I believe. We're turning right here. No, we can't turn right there. Sat nav was having to turn right there. Must be this one. Ah, that's not that's not the building we're delivering to anyway, it's the next one. Right, I've got a van, it's uh, in lane two, so I'm just hovering both lanes. Because I will cut them up otherwise if I'm in lane one, go around this corner. Excellente. South Devon College. Oh, that's the range. That's the range. Maybe I'll deliver there one day, who knows. <laughs> right, we want to go down here. Uh, yeah, the sat nav was taking me to... No, the sat nav was taking me to the right place, but it was telling me to take a right over there. But, um, not quite right. I think it's caught up itself now. We're going down here. Take a left at this roundabout. College, there's a lot of uh, buildings around here for the college, look. Right, Sutton's is where we are delivering to. I believe we're going right down here. Gates look open, happy days. Goods in and out, straight on. As I thought. Then I think we can just spin round down here. Or maybe not, because there's a van in the way. Oh yeah. Morning. I've got eight pallets of uh, plant pots for you. Yeah. Eight pallets for you. <laughs> yeah. As we get to both sides. Right, so they were they were they were saying that um, it wasn't it wasn't for here and it was for another site, but um, they turned out it is for here, as I thought. It's got their postcode on it, so. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to uh, put in my destination for the next place. I think it's a two-hour drive from here. Hey, oh. Calculated route. Two and a half hours. So, two and a half hours from here. See you in a bit. Right, we uh, are done. I'll just give, give my mirrors a quick clean. 
excellent. Got my, uh, my window cleaner away. Right. Now let's try and get out of here. We've got to spin around. He's, uh, he's moved the van that was here originally. I just asked him if he could move it. But it's still going to be uh, a little tight. Doesn't help with that sun. Forelock. There we go. Cheers, mate. Well, they looked impressed then, I did that. <laughs> right, so we are 96 miles away from our next delivery point. Uh, two and a half hours. We're on just under two hours now, so if we make up some time, we should be able to get there just before we need a break. Uh, and having a look on the, uh, the old maps earlier, I'm pretty sure we can have a break outside, if need be. Man, that sun is bright. Whoa. That is a bright sun this morning. Clear right, clear left. Yeah, that's, that's a, a very bright sun. <laughs> right, anyway, let's uh, let's go to our next location uh, where we've got just six pallets to come off. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we should be there for about half past 10 this morning. Happy days. I don't know what I'm doing from there. We might be running all the way back up to Bristol. Might be, I don't know. I'll have to find out later. I'm gonna be taking my hoodie off as well. If it's, the cows will stay in this warm. Seven and a half degrees, Whew, nearly summer. Right, see you in a bit. If you're looking to get into the HTV industry or you're already in the industry but want to refine your existing skills, I highly recommend that you purchase The Trucker's Handbook by Malcolm Green. There is a link in the description down below. This thing is absolutely ram-packed with information. Anything and everything you need to know regarding HTV is in this book. Go and buy it, link is in the description down below. Right, so a little bit concerned about driving time. Uh, I'm going to get a 15 minute break in here at these services. Um, I'm on three and a half hours driving time. I'm going to get I'm going to get a 15 minute break in, so I only need half an hour later. Not only that, but also one of my mates and fellow truck vlogger, Trucker Jono, is in here. <laughs> uh, so we're looking for a Lenham's truck. Lenham's, Lenham's, Lenham's. Uh, where do, how do I get in? Uh, I don't know how you get in here. Ah, this one here, look. Here we go. Looks pretty busy in there, mind. Never been in, uh, in this service station before. Trucks go left. Ah, there be a Lenham's. There be a man jumping in front of me. Hello, there he is. Oh, well, I've got to do a blindside reverse now. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I just didn't really fancy blinding that one, so we'll, uh, we'll just reverse into this one nice and easy.
Lovely. Yeah, I didn't really fancy <laughs> lighting the net next to him. So um, uh, we've just done the safe, safer reverse instead. Right, let's go say hello. Right. Change of plan. Jono's just left. He's literally just left. We're going to be right behind him. I've had a whole 45 minute break. Stuff it. <laughs> so what we can do now is we can go to um, our delivery point, get fully offloaded. Are you cross in? No. We can go to our delivery point, get fully offloaded, and then make our way straight back up then. Because we're um, yeah, we, we, we're going to need a half an hour break there anyway. So all we've done is uh, change when we're going to have our break. That's all. It's not going to affect the day in any time. There he is. Look, there's John. Uh, I wonder if I can overtake him. That'd be amazing. What lane do I want? We want west. Oh, no. He's going a different way to me. <laughs> he's going up there. We're going back on the A30. Bye, John. Yes, we will, uh, we're going back on the A30 because um, we're going to head straight down to the the road that we're taking down to Hale. Not sure. I don't, I don't know if you're supposed to come on this road or not because he's going down to Falmouth, I believe, which is the same same sort of way. I don't, I don't know if he's taking the wrong turn. <laughs> right. Anyway, let's uh, let's get cracker lacking. Let's uh, carry on. We're 32 miles away. 45 minutes. See you soon. Right. We are now in Hale. Just around the corner from where we need to be. All clear. I spoke to Trucker Jono and uh, he didn't take the wrong road. He he um, he actually had, he had to go up there. So happy days. Um, and yeah, I, I'll put a link to his channel in the description. So feel free to go and subscribe. Right, this place it doesn't actually come up on Google. It comes up as a different company name. Uh, also, doesn't look like there's any room to spin around when I'm in there. So I may reverse in off the road if it's quiet. We'll have to see. Where are you going? No one's indicating this way. Happy days. Oh, starting to look narrow. We're in Cornwall. <laughs> right. No, we are. We are supposed to be down here, so it's all good. It's all gravy. Let's give away to anything coming the other way. It's all clear. Happy days. Right, then we just want to make a right hand turn up here and then it should be on the right. It should be a quietish road. It's an, and it's an industrial estate. Guildford Road Industrial Estate. This is Guildford Road we're on now. very much right we want like bghs or something like that bghs something along those lines where that car is is where we want to reverse in i think I think we want to reverse in there. We're going to drive in. I think we can reverse into that car park there on the right, if this is wrong. Yeah, we can reverse in there. So I think this is where we want to be. I think. I need to go speak to someone. Just park up here. I think we're going to be in there, hopefully. Let's have a look. Let's see if anyone's uh, in any of these sheds.
This don't look like it's the right place. Excuse me, mate. Hi. Yeah, sorry to bother you. I don't suppose you can tell me where these guys are. B, B, G, H, S. Uh, uh, but the, po the post takes your ear. <laughs> okay. Hi, mate. Yeah, do you know where um, BHGS is? Oh, I ain't got a clue, mate. I ain't got a clue. Yeah. I'm not familiar around here, mate. I'm just working here. Right. All right. It's probably on the site somewhere. Okay? Yeah, I'll see if I can find them. Cheers, mate. Right, it's not in there. According to my phone, Google, is this building here on the left, but it's the same company that uh, is in front. Another word. Right, mate. I'm looking for uh, BHGS. BHGS, isn't that at the top, is it? Uh, I don't know. It's on Google, it says I'm right here. <laughs> oh, right, this is Ridgeboard, so. Um... Up the top somewhere, is it? I'm sure it is up there, yeah, yeah. I'll have I'm to go, sure and, go and have a wander. All right, mate. All right, <laughs> Cheers, mate. mate. That's right. Oh, yeah, mate. Yeah, I've got a delivery for you uh, in Hale. I'm right outside Ridgeport at the moment. Am I in the right place? Ridgy ball. Right, so, yeah, they're just next door. Um, ooh, nice having them. Yeah, they're just next door. Looks, it looks quite tight still to get in. Uh, well, as in no room to spin round, but, uh, should be okay. Right, the first thing we need to do is spin around here. Got loads of room, happy days. I'm thinking I might just drive straight in because it is on the headboard anyway and then uh, well if I've got to reverse out I'll reverse out no biggie Where they want me, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you're right, mate. Hey, yeah, not bad, buddy. Yes, yeah, it's, it's only six. Yeah, so I've got side of it, I've got Both sides. Both sides. Yeah. So, yeah, a little bit close to this curb. Yeah. I'll get that side done first, then we'll have you over and get the other side out. Brilliant. All right, mate. Brilliant, mate. And then uh, to get out, I think I'll just reverse straight back onto the road. Opposite me, there's like another turn in. I'm just going to sneak out so I can budge over to the right. Happy days. Right, let's get this off, see you in a bit. And then we are gonna go head straight up to Bristol from here, so yeah. Right, we're done, offloaded. Just gonna take my hoodie off because it's getting a bit hot. 
There's, there's the paperwork. Ooh. Mask. Sunglasses over there. Right. Ugh. Excuse the naked nos. Yes, so we are now fully empty. Ugh. Fully, fully empty. Let's put the microphone on me. Uh, right, where have you got to go next, Luke, I hear you ask? Bristol, <laughs> literally. So, da, 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 da. Got to go there. So, waiting to find out whether Craig, our colleague, gets tipped or not. Uh, whether he does or not has an effect on what I'm doing. So, I've got to head up towards Bristol. Uh, could pod potentially be doing some range work. Drop the trailer off tonight, stay there, and deliver it in the morning slash afternoon. Uh, we are, I need a break on the way up, I think, 50 minutes. We're 190 miles away, three hours and 45 minutes away. <laughs> and I've done, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be tight. We might be able to get up there in one go. Um, so we'd have to stop before we actually get there and drop the trailer off. So, um, ah, yeah, we will. We need to stop for a break, even if we. Uh, uh, you're in my way now, mate. A van is literally just pulled up right behind me as I put it in reverse. Yeah, even if we uh, had a break here, because we would have had to have, we would have had to have, have either a 45 minute break, a whole 45 now, or a half an hour if we only had a 15 earlier. Um, so either, either way, we're gonna be at least 30 minutes further up the road. Could have gone back a bit more early, but never mind. We're gonna potentially mount the curb here just to get out. Nope, just made it. Off we go. So yeah, we're just going to uh, go as far as up as we can really and then yeah, we're going to have to have a 45 minute break on the way up regardless to uh, where we're going. What's going on here? What are these kids doing? It's like they're waiting for someone. Um, right, come on. Let me out. He's going fast. And off we go. Yeah, so, I mean, this is the only narrow bit uh, of this particular area. Once we get out of here, we'll be okay. But yeah, no, so we're heading back up. Like I said, we're on 50 minutes drive time now, so we got, what's that give us? 50, 30, 40, three hours, 40 minutes drive time we got left. And we're three hours, 42 away from the range. <laughs> so um, yeah, we might make up some time on the A road. So we, we might be able to get there and uh, drop the trailer off, but we'll have to, uh, uh, it is actually my right way. It's a little bit tight. Yeah, he should have gone a bit slower there, never mind. Yeah, so we, we should be able to get to the range without a break, but we'll um we run out of time while we're there, so we'll have to get probably get a break in before we even get there. Anyway, gone on about break far too much. <laughs> Let's just get our foot down, make our way there. I've got a bit of got a bit of a headache. Have I got any headache tablets? Yeah, got a bit of a headache, so I'm going to pull over and have a couple of tablets and then uh, resume duties. Right, see you in a bit. Right, you join me uh, on the M5, we're just by Portbury Docks. We're not actually going into Portbury Docks, we're going into there. Gordano or Gordano services. Uh, we have our plans for the rest of today. Uh, we need to go to the range and get loaded. Well, we need to drop the trailer off to be loaded 
for Yeovil, so we're heading back back down the M5 south again uh, for tomorrow. The problem is uh, the trailer doesn't need to be loaded until 11 o'clock tonight, so um, uh, we've only got to drop it off, but it's a bit early to be dropping it off. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. What are you doing? It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so uh, we don't want to be dropping it off too soon. They changed last minute, didn't they? Uh, we don't want to be dropping it off too soon, so we're going to stop and have a break. We, we need a break anyway because we're on 4.05 at the minute. Four hours and five minutes, so I can only drive for another 25 minutes. Uh, which just so happens to be, give or take, how far away I am from the range. Uh, which means we will be there, bang on, pretty much four and a half hours, as I said earlier. Um, which won't give us any time really to drop the trailer and get back out. So, I'm going to stop at Gordano, 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 whatever you want to call it. Um, for an hour, maybe an hour and a half, just chill out, um, by which point it would be half past four-ish, yeah, and then by the time I get to the range it would be about five o'clock, a uh, bit more reasonable to be dropping off the trailer, and then by the time I drop it off, come outside, park up, be about quarter past five, half past five, uh, reasonable time to, uh, to finish for the day. So we're going to stop here for an hour and a half, uh, we're going to rest, um, use the toilet facilities. <laughs> Um, yeah, just, just chill out for an hour and a half and uh, take it easy. That's what we are going to do. Right, into the services we go. My girlfriend says uh, I'm pretty bad at finding parking spaces. I'll uh, deliberately go past empty ones to, uh, to find like a better one to park in. <laughs> so I, I really just want to find a space and park up. Um, where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? So I'm doing it already. I'm, I'm looking for spaces to park and not sure where to park. Oh, look, there's a space there. We're going to park right there. That's where we're going to park. Just waiting for that bloke to walk because I'm going to block him off. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, there's a bloke walking and he was walking. Where I was reversing, I was going to be cutting him off. So I just letting him cross. Mm -hmm. uh, let's straighten up a little bit. Ooh, we're getting very close to that sign. Just saw a shadow appear all of a sudden on the sign behind me. Yeah, I don't want to get too close because I want to uh, open the back door in a minute to get into the trailer. There's there's a there's a road um, not a road. There's a um, like a service sign. <laughs> and as I got close to it, I could see the back of the trailer, like the shadow of the trailer, get close. So I don't know whether I, I'm too close or not. I don't know. But we're going to have a break. Oh, actually, no, we're not. Let's turn it back off. Like I said, we need to jump into the back of the trailer because all my internal straps, are, well, not all of them, but some of my internal straps are at the front um, where we were loaded earlier. So I need to move those internals back to the back of the trailer um, because I'm not entirely sure if I can jump in the back of the trailer while I'm at the range. So that's what I... I'm going to do now. So, I'm going to have uh, an hour an hour and a half or so of rest. See you in a bit. Okay. Right, we've been here now for, well, 59 minutes. 59 minutes. We call it an hour. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I was quite happy to, uh, to stay here and uh, go to the range later on tonight. But... My colleague is getting tipped, so therefore um, he's going to be coming to do the range. So I just need to go back to the yard now and get loaded for Grantham for tomorrow. So, um, yeah, what I'll probably do is I'll vlog tomorrow as well, and that'll be a separate vlog, because this is probably quite a long one now as it is. What will it be in two days? But, um, but yeah, no, I'm going to be going home tonight. And then in the next video, you're going to see me go to Grantham with, I'm assuming, uh, bolt bags. And then I need to go to Retford and get loaded and take that back to the yard. So yes. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> I do appreciate it. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed it. It's been a good one. Um, been a nice little trip down to, to Devon and Cornwall. 
So, um, yeah, I do like going down there. It's very, very nice. Let's just get out of this roundabout before I continue talking because it's not the easiest to get out of if it's busy. There we go. So there we go. Uh, M5 North. We want this lane. There we go. Anyway, thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Uh, big shout out to all my sponsors as per huge. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. Don't forget to check out the Road Legends podcast. Um, we try to release one every Wednesday. Uh, if, if you don't see one on a Wednesday, check the following Wednesday. But uh, yeah, the Road Legends podcast. Just search Road Legends on YouTube. They come up with our channel. Uh, or alternatively, type in Road Legends podcast on the, any of your favourite podcast um, streaming platforms like um, Spotify and Google Play and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.